Welcome to this video. Today we'll show you just how easy it is to install and set up the DIG 3D R rotary probe on your CNC machine. When you order the DIG 3D R probe, you'll receive the rotary probe body, the control unit, and a probe cable in the length you selected. In addition to the mandatory components, you can also order optional accessories. These include a manual control button with a customizable cable length, and a USB to RS-485 converter for Modbus communication. As part of the set, you can also order additional sensors at an exclusive price. These include a spindle-mounted touch probe, the manual tool length sensor, including the cable and the fixed TLS sensor for mounting on the machine table. Now that we have all the components, let's start the setup. The control unit features a DN rail clip for easy mounting inside the CNC machine's control cabinet. The probe is mounted to the Z-axis using 4M4 screws. You can find the probe's technical drawing on the product webpage, where a 3D model of the probe body is also available for download. For easier access to the screws, the probe can be gently and slowly rotated. The probe can be mounted either directly to the Z-axis or onto the spindle using a suitable clamp. It's important to maintain a constant offset between the probe and the spindle. The probe body is equipped with a connector that makes it easy to disconnect the unit for maintenance. The connection cable is available in various lengths and connects to the control unit via a matching connector on the other end. Now it's time to connect the power supply between 12 and 24 volts and run a test. Each time power is connected, the probe performs an initialization and test sequence and returns to its home position. You can now test the probe's rotary function by pressing the test button on the control unit. Reaching the end position is indicated by the green position OK status light. If your set includes the manual control button, simply connect it to the control unit using the provided connector. The button combines control and status indication. When the probe reaches its end position, the button lights up green. In the working position the green indicator remains steadily lit, in the home position it lights up only briefly. If the probe encounters an obstacle while rotating, it stops automatically, and the button lights up red, along with the red error indicator on the control unit. Pressing the button while an error is indicated will return the probe to its home position. The final step is connecting the probe signal to the motion control unit. Thanks to its optically isolated output, the control unit supports both NPN and PNP input types. This makes it compatible with all types of CNC machine control systems. You can test the input by simply bridging GND to the input in the case of an NPN configuration, or connecting positive voltage to the input for a PNP setup. The output of the control unit is connected to the motion control unit with two wires, just like a standard probe. You can set the signal polarity on the control unit using a switch either normally open or normally closed. By triggering the probe, you can observe how the signal passes through the control unit and reaches the motion control board. If you've ordered a spindle-mounted probe or a manually operated tool length sensor as part of your set, connect the included cable to the terminals labeled HTLS. The magnetic connector allows you to easily attach either the probe or the tool length sensor. The signal is then transmitted to the motion control board. The same applies to any of the fixed tool length sensors. Connect them to the terminals labeled FTLS. The sensor signal is again transmitted to the motion control board. 
I hope this video has shown you how simple it is to install and connect the DIG 3DR rotary probe set, along with the option to integrate other types of probes and sensors. For more detailed information please visit the product page, where you'll find wiring examples for different input types. In upcoming videos we'll cover automated control using outputs from the motion control board, as well as configuration and operation via the Modbus interface. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.